so we're quickly looking at the overview of another antifungal drug this is um griso fulvin all right so look at the overview of uh, griso fulvin as an antifungal drug that you can use in treating what various infections caused by different types of fungi so griso fulvin we say that it's an antifungal medication it's oral okay it's used primarily for treating superficial fungal infections of the skin of the hair and nails such as tinea corporis that's the ringworm tinea pedis that's atlas foot tinea capitis that's cap infections so it works by what disrupting fungal mitosis so this will now prevent fungal cells from dividing and spreading so mechanism of action is um, it binds microtubules interfering with spindle formation during fungal cell division so it accumulates in keratin rich tissues making it particularly effective for skin and nail infections so the drug is fungistatic that means what it will basically like halt okay the transitions of the fungi all right so we say it inhibits fungal growth rather than directly killing the fungi you know Pharmacokinetics absorption is best absorbed when taken with fatty meals to enhance bioavailability. Metabolism is in the liver with the cytochrome P450 involvement. Excretion is renal with some physical elimination. Half life is approximately 24 hours, allowing for one daily dosing. So, clinical application is used for what? Treating um, tinea infections, other than ringworms, at left foot drop each scalp infections then onychomycosis that's the um, fungal nail infections the veterinary use for fungal infections in animals okay side effects you have them here headache nausea for meeting diarrhea dizziness hepatotoxicity Stephen Johnson's blood disorders all right so contraindication should you use it in people that are pregnant or people that already have liver disease or people that have porphyria so that's about Grisio Fulvin.